Hello everyone, this is Jonathan with Reso World Technical Support, and this is a video on how to set up the listing manager to list your very first item on eBay. The first thing we're going to do is open up the listing manager, which is located at the top right corner here. We're going to click on Settings at the very top. Then we're going to click on Options. We'll go ahead and sign in. Now, we're going to look at our eBay options to make sure that these are set appropriately. So you have the default duration, which you can set how many days an auction will last. You have your starting price, which is basically a default on what your starting price will be for a bid. Uh, usually we see this as zero. I don't really see this change very often. Uh, you have your eBay site, depending on what country you're in, you can set which is the primary eBay site that you're going to be listing on. Uh, your location, eBay country, and eBay currency uh, is exactly as stated here. Uh, we can also set the send weight as ounces option here. So that gives you access to first class shipping if you want to use that, since first class shipping is not applicable for pounds. Uh, we can default to send the store category, which is for eBay stores. And then you can default to allow best offer, which basically allows your customers to present a best offer option, at which point you can set an automatic decline below a certain amount. And then at the top right, we have the refresh eBay categories option. Uh, this is actually not a bad idea to do once in a while. It brings down the latest eBay categories, especially if they've changed. Um, so if you click on that, it'll go ahead and download the categories from eBay. Now we're going to go to eBay accounts here, and we're going to authorize a new account. So right now I have two accounts in here, but I'm going to add a third one. Uh, it is important to note that you can't have multiple accounts in here. Specifically, as an example, say you list your jewelry on one eBay account and maybe your clothing goes to another account, you do have the capability of switching between the two accounts or as many accounts as you want. So now I'm going to go ahead and add an account here. And then I'm going to enter my account name in here. And this is your eBay account, by the way. So I'll click OK. The next option that's going to come up is it's going to ask me this is to give Liberty authorization to list on behalf of your account. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in as my account. This is basically granting application access to Liberty Listing Manager. So we're going to click agree on this. And then that's it. So the authorization expires date here. Uh, specifies when the next time you're going to have to reauthorize this option. So if when this date hits or past this date or close to it, you can reauthorize your access here, and then you don't have to worry about doing it again for about another year. So this is a very good point to bring up. Um, we really should opt in to eBay policies. That's really important. Uh, so usually to do that, we go we open up our internet browser, and then we can do a search. I usually like going to Google.com. And then we can type in opt in eBay policies. So then you can click on this business policies page here. It's usually the very first option that you have there. And then we'll go ahead and click the opt in button. So now it's going to have me sign in. I'm going to, I'm going to go into my eBay account. And now we're opted into our eBay policies. So from here, I can specify my shipping options here. Uh, this is the default shipping. So we can add, add a new policy. Uh, you might have these empty to begin with. Um, we can edit ones that are existing. Definitely recommend looking at the default. So I'm going to edit the shipping here. We can specify whether we're going to use calculated shipping or flat rate shipping. Um, calculated shipping does require pounds or ounces to be put in, where flat rate is pretty much a set cost of, across all your buyers. So all the shipping will be the same cost. So we go ahead and edit these options. I'm going to hit cancel here. Uh, next thing you have is your return policy. They are kind of stringent upon allowing returns, and you become part of their special program if you allow returns past a certain time period. So I'm going to click on edit. And then you can, you can change your, your return options in here. I'm going to hit cancel. 
And then finally, our payment type. So you can set this up for PayPal or whatever whatever payment type system you have. eBay has their own as well. Here's where we can enable PayPal, and then you can set your, uh, you know, if you want to use the regular merchant credit card system through eBay, these are the options you can turn on. You also have options to do pay on pickup and money orders and things like that if you want checks and whatnot. So I'm going to hit cancel on that. Definitely important to set this up before you list any items. So now I'm going to go into my listing manager again. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on my refresh button here. And it's going to pull down my eBay policies. And we can see that, yes, it did pull down all of our payments correctly. And then we can drop this down and I can select my, uh, my account that I just added. So I'm going to move on. We'll go to template data. We can put a template header if we want, which appears at the very top. Any information you want to put in there, it'll appear at the top of your auctions or buy it now listings. Same thing with the footer. This appears at the bottom of the listings. One thing I will note is with eBay, I would definitely recommend going to marketplace options and making sure that you have eBay buy it now set to active. So I can double click on this and we can turn it on and uh, you're, you can specify a surcharge if you want to have kind of like a web item fee added to the item where you basically will make profit off of whatever additional percentage you have here entered here. Uh, so if you list an item at $10 and you put 10% for the default surcharge in there, it'll be $11. And uh, that extra dollar will be 100% uh, yours as profit. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel on this because I already have it turned on. Same thing, same thing applies to if you have uh, just regular eBay options for this marketplace, that's the auction. So you can turn that on if you plan on doing bids, you know, starting a bid at like 99 cents and then, you know, taking whatever, whatever the bid is up to for that item. The next thing we want to look at is going to be under storefront settings here. So within this area, we can specify whether we want to create listings for eBay, Shopify, or ShopRW. I do have a video that goes over auto create listings. Uh, the one important thing to note for auto create listings for eBay is that when you add an item into Liberty and you set it to create the listing for you, it will actually not go to eBay immediately. You do have to touch the listing in listing manager uh, before you can set it up to eBay. That's because you got to set your eBay category, which will, you know, in turn set your eBay category ID. You have to set your item specifics. And also if you plan on changing your eBay policy, so uh, or eBay policy, shipping, or return policy. Uh, you'll, you'll need to select those things beforehand. There's no way to actually just push an item straight to eBay without actually touching it. So that's why we don't send it up automatically. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and leave these options unchecked. And that way you can actually create your listings as you go. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK on this. This video will be split up into two parts. As this was the setup portion or pre-setup of getting an item onto eBay, the next video is going to cover the process or the life of an item from the creation of an item to listing the item on eBay. And then finally, you'll get to see what it looks like on eBay. This was a video on setting up the listing manager to list your first item on eBay.